Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. The dark of night and a vivid imagination are dangerous partners. They can make molehills grow in the mountains and corn stalks grow into Jack the Giant Killer's beanstalk. Then comes the graying light of dawn, which gives way to the bright sunlight, and the mountain again becomes a molehill. However, the next night can bring a recurrence of the same mysterious malady caused by mixing a vivid imagination with the dark of night. Yes, we just love to expand on fancy, and we shun fact. This problem caused us no end of trouble on a dark but moonlit night in Naughty Pine when the whole town was bent upon driving us crazy. Let's find out what happened in the story, Tiger Cat. Grace and Wendell Brown were spending a quiet evening at home this night and enjoying the warmth and comfort of their home on Wayside Drive. Wendell had just about finished reading every printed letter in the evening paper. Anything exciting or interesting in the paper, Wendell? Mm-hmm. Wendell! Huh? No, what's the matter? Well, nothing, dear, only I don't like to be grunted at like you were a bear. Oh, I'm sorry. Guess I dozed off for a minute. I didn't think you heard me. What's good in the paper? Uh, oh, nothing special. Same old stuff. Oh, what time is it? Quarter to eleven. Uh, time to hit the hay. No, you, you go ahead to bed. I'll get the covers off the patio furniture so they don't get soaked from the dew. It's uh, a good girl. You do just that. Be back in a jiffy. Grace, <laughs> come. Grace. Thank the Lord I made it back to the house. Grace, tonight. what's the matter? Why'd you scream? It was terrible one. It was terrible. I never saw such a big oh, one. What did you see out there? It just about scared me to death. Oh, well, please, you aren't going to tell me. I'll find out for myself. Oh, wait, don't you dare go out there. It'll kill you. You can't go out there. Please, please, promise me you won't. Please. Oh, good night. Will you stop jabbering like a monkey and tell me what you saw in the patio? It wasn't on the patio. It was way back there by, by the rear shrubbery. What was back by the rear shrubbery? A leopard. A leopard? Are you sure? Oh, don't you think I know a leopard when I see one? I'm going to get my shotgun and go after it. Oh, you do no such thing. I don't want to be a widow. When I'll call the rangers. Bill Jefferson and his band have hunted leopards, all kinds uh, of them. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, I've read where they've gotten one. I guess they're good at it, okay? I'll call them right away. <laughs> Listen to those tones, overtones, Bill. Yeah, it's beautiful, all right, Ralph. Well. You know, they say these high fi sets make it sound better than if you were sitting in the concert hall. Uh-huh, I can believe that. Say, have you looked at the clock recently? No. Oh, is it that late already? It sure is. Better call it quit and get home and get some shut-eye. You'll be more ornery than a hibernating bear in the morning. Oh, uh, okay. I'll see you. I'll get it. Okay, I'll, I'll put the records away. Hello, Bill Jefferson speaking. What? Uh, how's that again? Uh-oh. Yes, we'll be over there shortly. Goodbye. No sleep tonight, huh? It sort of looks that way, Ralph. Call Stumpy and Greywolf while I get our rifles ready. Rifles? Yeah. 
The Browns over on Wayside Drive report a leopard in their backyard. There's the place. They're waving at us. Feels like they told some of the neighbors. Not bad. Hysteria start now. You fellas spread out and search the neighborhood while I keep these people from getting in your way. Yep, they're Ralph. You stick with me. Okay, let's go. Let's quiet down now, folks. Quiet quiet down. Thank you. Where are the Browns? Here we are, Mr. Jefferson. I saw the leopard. Did you get a good look at him? Indeed, I did. How far away was he at the time you noticed? Not more than ten feet. Well, maybe twenty would be better. Grace, you know, it's sixty feet to the back shrubbery. Well, I guess that's right. I'm still so shaken up about it. He was so big and he seemed so close. Yes, ma'am. Uh... Can you tell me how big he is? Uh, the cat, that is? Well, I'd say about ten feet. Ten feet? Oh, Grace, are you sure? Oh, that sounds more like, a, more like an elephant. Take it easy, Mr. Brown. We'll find out the size of the animal as soon as the boys get back. Oh, how can you tell that? The exact size, that is. By the distance between his footprints. Bill, can we see you for a few minutes? I'll be right there. Now, all of you go back inside your homes and lock the doors and windows. And don't come out until we tell you, because someone might get shot if the leopard is still roaming close by. Look here, sonny. It was a cat, all right. I'll say it was a cat. Did you measure the prince? Uh, he's not cougar, not wildcat, and for sure not leopard. That's right. I've broken off a couple of sticks as a measure. The prince spread too small for a cougar or a leopard and too big for a wildcat. Well, what kind of cat do you think it is? I don't know, young feller. I got an idea, but it ain't for certain. They wander up from the south once in a while. Well, those aren't jaguar tracks. That's right, they ain't. But they could be ocelot tracks. Ocelot? Yep. Some folks call it the tiger cat. Tell me you're going to leave us here without any protection? You'll be all right, Mrs. Brown, as long as you stay inside and keep your doors and windows locked. We'll be back in the morning to track the animal. But you can't leave us unprotected this way. Can't you have one or two rangers kind of roam around the place? Well, that's a fine idea if I could be sure that some well-meaning homeowner wouldn't put a bullet into my rangers. I wouldn't do that. Uh, Perhaps not, but I'm not taking any chances. I haven't met the cat that can open locked doors and windows. You just do as I say, and you'll be all right. Oh, at your mercy, Mr. Jefferson. (laughs) Are you really, Mrs. Brown? Don't you usually stay inside the house when you sleep, or do you sleep on the patio? (laughs) (laughs) I guess that did sound rather foolish of me. We'll call the neighbors and tell them what you said we should do. Thank you very much. Believe me, we'll be back in the morning and track that cat. What's more, I have two of the very best trackers and hunters with this ranger station. You have nothing to worry about as long as you do as I say. We will, Bill. Rest assured of that. I don't want to tangle with any big cat. Or little cat, for that matter. I'll have the dope on the tiger cat in just a moment, I don't know why they have to make so many pages in these here reference books. Uh, Stumpy, why don't you turn to the pages marked letter O and see if that doesn't speed things up? Well, now, there's a first-class idea if I ever heard one. (laughs) Or maybe you look under word, uh, cat. I'll give you (laughs) cat, young feller. Here she is, Now, let me get these sticks out of my pocket that I took the measure with. Uh, You fellas better uh, sit down for a while. It'll take a long time for Stumpy to find those sticks with all the junk he's got in his pocket. Right, Bill. We'll sit down. Oh, see here. It ain't (laughs) junk by no means. Here's my pocket knife. Fella can always use one of them. Well, 
through. Well, what are the nails for? Huh? Well, in case my suspenders break, I can hitch my pants up with them. Oh, no. And uh, here's some string. A fella can always use that. Oh, string. Maybe to fly a kite with, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now, look at the safety pins the man oh, has. Well, them is for Big fishing pile. in case I got stranded sometime. <laughs> like woman's purse. Now, oh, there's a, a one stick, old timer. Yep. But I gotta find the other one. Guess I'll do this easy way and dump out everything at once, eh? <laughs> Look at the pile. <laughs> we got see stumpy. Ah, go ahead and laugh all you want. Someday you might be right pleased that I carry all this stuff. Hey, here's the other twig. Now let's take the measure here on the chart. How do they fit, old friend? <laughs> like a bug in a rug. That there critter is an ocelot, all right. There's no doubt about it. Well, let's read what it says about him. I'll get it. Ranger headquarters. Yes. 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 We'll be right there. Goodbye. Tiger cat again? Yeah. It's been seen by two nurses going off duty at the hospital. I guess we might just as well plan to stay up the rest of the night and chase that cat. Is this the place where you and Miss Horner saw the cat, Sheila? Yes, yes, right here along the bushes. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's all right for us to stand around here like this? Well, I've got my revolver, so it's all right. Uh, they usually don't attack people unless they're trapped. Well, oh, thank the Lord for that. Kay and I almost died in our tracks when we saw that thing looking at us. Uh, how big would you say it is? Oh, I'd say at least 15 feet or so mm-hmm. it seemed anyway. Well, thank you very much. Don't worry about the cat. It won't be back this way anymore tonight. Too much man smell around here now. Spot, Arnie. Can't you tell by the broken milk bottles? That panther liked to take ten years off my life, and I haven't got too many tens to give away. Oh, come on now, young feller. Where'd you see the kitty? The kitty? How can you call a panther a kitty? They're all kitties to old Betsy here. Size don't make no never mind to a rifle. Huh. I came around here to put the milk on the back porch. It was standing over there by them fruit trees, just as plain as day. Well, I'm going over and look at the tracks, uh, just to make sure it's the same one that's been scaring folks half to death. Uh, coming along? Uh, me? Man, you must be out of your mind. Hey, Arnie, don't tell me you're scared of a cat that isn't there. I'm not taking no chances. I saw a man get clawed once by one of them things. I ain't never slept good since. <laughs> Where are the rest of your cat chasers? Well, just like you said, chasing one cat. All three at once? Yeah. Reports were coming in so fast and furious just about sunup that the fellas decided to split up and answer them. And I'm here to hold the fort. But things have quieted down since daylight. I guess that's because cats don't move around much during the day. You don't say. I thought this would be a good story for the front page of the morning paper. What can you tell me? Oh, I don't know about telling you anything without Bill's permission, Rod. Well, you know how it is. Bill doesn't want hysteria to take over the town. Well, folks might start shooting at each other in the dark. Oh, sure, I know. Isn't there something you can tell me about the cat? Nope. Sorry. Okay. 
I'll stop back after Bill returns. Okay, Rod. I hope there's no hard feelings. Of course not, Ralph. Orders are orders. I just hope it really isn't a leopard like some folks have said. Oh, no, it's not a leopard. It's a tiger cat. Thanks, Ralph. Thanks a lot. Oh, Rod, wait a minute. Oh, me and my big mouth. Oh, I guess I'd better find Bill and tell him what I've done. So now the fat's in the fire, Bill, and all on account of me and my big mouth. Ah, oh, don't feel badly, Ralph. Rod's a shrewd reporter. He's caught me napping a few times with his nonchalant give-up attitude. Then he throws an inside curve when he's walking away. <laughs> yeah, I know him only too well. well. Then you're not angry. Oh, of course not. We're all human and make mistakes, especially me. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Hey, what are you going to do? I'll try and stop that story. Hand me the radio. Yeah. Operator, this is Bill Jefferson. Can you get me the Naughty Pine Gazette, please? Hurry, it's important. Oh, I'll still be in my car. Here comes Stumpy and Grey Wolf. Good. Hello, Frank. Uh, Bill Jefferson. Uh, Frank, I want you to kill Rod's story on the tiger cat. What? But he only got this scoop half an hour ago. You're joking. No, don't pull the paper apart, but if his story creates mass hysteria, I'll hang his hide on a nail. Goodbye. But don't tell me it's being printed already. I know it sounds unbelievable, but oh. Rod got it in the morning edition. They held the paper for it, and some of them are on the street already, and the rest are being printed now. Frank says it's the hottest edition they've had for months. Yeah, I'll say it is. Well, are we all through chasing the kitty around town? Oh, that cat plenty fast, if everybody who see him really see him. <laughs> you said it, Sonny. That four-and-a-half-foot varmint sure is grown overnight. Some folks have told me he's 20 feet long. Yeah, I know. Some whopper, huh? <laughs> well, I think we'd better get some sleep as soon as possible. A couple of hours worth, anyhow, before we start tracking that monster again. <laughs> Go ahead and start the car. I'll pick up the paper off the lawn so we can see what kind of a wild-eyed tail Rod put in it. Okay. Let's go. By the look on your face, I guess you've read the headline. Yeah, head for the newspaper office. Right. What are you going to do? Frank's going to print another story telling how harmless the tiger cat really is. Do you think it'll do any good now? What do you say, Frank? Sure, I'll print the facts. You got them with you? Yeah, in my head. You ready with a pencil? Ready. The ocelot is a harmless member of the cat family. Reaching a maximum length of four and a half feet. Buff and gray color with spots or marbleized hide markings. Marbleized hide. The hide markings are black. Black. Cat has a long tail. Long legs and eats rodents and reptiles. Hmm. Will not attack people. Hmm. And it's very rare in the United States. This one might have come up in Texas. I see. Emphasis on the fact that the cat will not harm human beings. Right. It is the least ferocious of the cat family. Okay, Bill, I'll run an extra edition on it. Say, I'm sorry about this. Ah, oh, forget it, Frank. Just hope and pray that someone doesn't get shot tonight because of a cat jumpy chunk. Tell the readers that the nickname for Ocelot is Tiger Cat. And if Rod shows up, tell him I'm shocked at his behavior. A 
good newsman would know that this sort of thing is prime material for creating mass hysteria. If someone gets killed, he'll be the one who is indirectly responsible. No! I'm glad I found you. Hey, what's the matter, Rod? I can tell without even guessing. Your red-hot story backfired, and it's kicking you in the teeth. You're right. Bill, I pull a lot of harebrained stunts in my life to make a story. But never where anyone could get hurt or killed. This time, that's exactly what's going to happen unless you stop it. Hey, what do you mean? All right, simmer down, fellas. What's going on, Rod? Take your time and tell me all about it. The shooting won't start until sundown, and by that time, we can have it all wrapped up. Uh, Ralph, put in a call for Stompy and Graywolf to meet us here on the double. Right. Well, I was nosing around town trying to get people's reactions and also to check on places where the cat was seen. Bill, it looks like we're getting ready for an Indian attack. Huh? How so? Everywhere you look around the edge of town, men are walking around armed. Oh, somebody's going to get killed. I know, I know. That's what... What are you going to do about it? Well, don't worry. I'm sure we can squelch this whole thing right sudden-like. Man, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Ron, you're a good newsman. Tricky. You can worm information out of people that don't even feel the pain. This time you tricked yourself. You said it. And I'm feeling the pain. And I'll be in pain until this thing is over with. Ranger 1 to Sheriff 1, over. Sheriff 1 to Ranger 1, over. You have the plan now, Cal? Over. Right. Got my cars equipped with loudspeakers. I'm giving everyone an hour's warning. If we see anyone carrying a gun after the warning, they'll be pinched, over. Right. And don't make any exceptions. Remember, we'll be out behind those houses tracking that cat. We don't want to get filled with hot lead, over. We'll get them inside, but quick. You fellas will be safe, I hope. Over. <laughs> Thanks, friend. I appreciate the cooperation. Over. Okay, glad to do it. What's so funny? Over. <laughs> Your optimism tickled me. Over. What do you mean? I don't want to have a new boss ranger around here. Look at how many years it's taken to break you into my way of thinking. Over. <laughs> okay, Cal. Chase the gun toters back in the house and we'll get the kitty. This here trail looks like it comes and goes by its honey. Uh, what do you think, Gray Wolf? Ah, uh, you're right. He passed by here many times. Uh, how long do you think he's been around in this area? Uh, what about these tracks here, Gray Wolf? Uh, your sign may be three or four weeks old. Mm-hmm, that's what I thought. Why the sudden rash of people spotting him? Well, maybe he's not as afraid of people as he was at first. That's the answer, young feller. He's getting bolder. Maybe he likes the food odors coming in from the houses along here. I think you've just hit the nail right on the head, old-timer. <laughs> You don't say. How come? We can track this cat until we're blue in the face and not catch him. The tiger cats are used to thick brush and sneaking around in undergrowth. They're slippery and silent. Let's set a cage trap here with some very odorous food and see what results we get. Ah, uh, you're a good idea. Like you say, we could spend much time for nothing. We set up cage trap plenty quick and maybe catch him tonight. Yep. Let's get going on it, huh? Well, what do you suppose the sheriff's broadcasting? Attention all citizens of this community. Attention, please. This is the sheriff talking. Anyone found carrying arms outside their homes until the cat scare is over will be arrested. This is for your own protection. The cat is harmless. Let the rangers capture it. Remember, do not carry a gun outside your home or you'll be arrested. Please cooperate so no one gets hurt or killed. Wendell, I don't know about you, but that's a lot of hogwash as far as I'm concerned. Those rangers aren't going to catch that cat. We'll have to. I don't know about that, Ward. 
I don't like taking the law into my own hands. Somebody might get hurt. Ah, I'm not trigger happy. I can tell a man from a cat. I'm going to wait for that beast and get it. When? Tonight. Uh, I wouldn't if I were you. Like Bill said, there isn't a cat alive that can open a locked window or door. You better be mighty careful. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. I'm sick and tired of waiting for the rangers to get the job done. And they say the cat's harmless. Huh. I'll really make sure it's harmless. Tonight. There. Trap set. We wait now. We might have to wait all night, young fella. We do that before many times. Yep. And how? I wonder how Bill and Ralph are making out at the other end. We not find out until morning, or when can't get caught. Yep. Yeah, maybe a couple of fireflies will come along so I can read a while. <laughs> maybe we'd be quiet now. Yep, I reckon. How you doing, Ralph? Okay. Getting a little bleary-eyed. Why don't you sleep for a while? I'll watch. Oh, you mean it? Sure. Just don't snore. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Thanks. Good night. What's that again, Mr. Brown? I thought it wise to tell the rangers there's a neighbor waiting for the cat tonight with a rifle. But I can't get the ranger. Of course not. They're out back of the houses trying to get the cat. Are you sure you're right? I'm positive. I tried to talk him out of it, but I couldn't. Thanks, Mr. Brown. We'll take care of it. Goodbye. Hey, what's up, Brad? Some crazy galoots trying to hunt the cat. I've got to warn Bill and his men. Well, call the sheriff. That's his job. Not this time it isn't. Hey, Rod! Here come animal. Good job, Grey Wolf. We've got our quarry. Oh, Grey Wolf's oh. been shot. Some crazy man's got a gun. Put that gun down. You just shot a ranger. I say, you mister, drop your gun and come out with your hands up. Where'd you guys come from? Am I too late? Am I too late? Yep. You were too late a long time ago. You were grazed by a rifle bullet, Grey Wolf. Thank the Lord it only nicked you. Uh, I'll say, I thought you'd been killed. You give us a pretty bad scare, young fella. Uh, feel all right now? Uh, I feel okay. A little dizzy. Oh, we catch Tiger Cat. We sure did. You know, it's funny how a little guy can stir up a lot of fuss... Just about as much as a real tiger. Well, there sure was a lot of fuming and fussing, wasn't there? But the tiger cat scare is over, and a lot of folks learn to control their imaginations and to think instead of dream. Well, see you next week for more adventure with...